Why did I apply for the course? Well, um, I spent a lot of time working as a teacher of antenatal classes, talking to pregnant women and their partners about what giving birth might be like and what life with a new baby might be like. And um, what you find is that there's lots of uh, people have lots of opinions, but there's not lots of research evidence about, you know, what are the implications of doing certain things. So, for example, you know, we know that if you have a epidural, you're more likely to have certain complications later. But we don't know how like how much more likely those complications are. And so it was a bit unsatisfying trying to help people prepare for birth without any data. And um, so what I thought would be interesting was to go out and find some of that data and do some of that research. But I couldn't do that because my that knowledge wasn't good enough. So uh, I decided to sign up for the course and see if I could kind of improve my maths a bit. You know, when I started, I wasn't aware how diverse the content was that I was going to do. So it's actually been a real delight for me, was things that I hadn't envisaged I would necessarily look at, um, such as graph theory, game theory, has been a real joy. Um, and given that we're in a you know, kind of data-driven world now. Uh, the ability to um, spend time learning to program with R has been, you know, both enjoyable and it's something that has like real application going forward. So as a so as a skill set uh, and as a way to grow personally, you know, the the, the course has been really beneficial in, in more ways than I would have expected. Um, I have to say I'm passionate about but but you know, I just think it's amazing that you can study at the University of London and get a qualification that um, that you can work on whilst you're doing your day job. And it, it just astonishes me that there are lecturers who are prepared to give up their evenings to help students study in that way. I just think it's amazing. And when I started the course, um, a lot of my friends said, oh, are you the oldest one on the course? And I was I was really surprised because there was a massive diversity of students. You know, there were people in their 70s, there were people in their 20s. And I guess we were all united by that passion to study a subject even whilst we're trying to work. Um, I couldn't commit to, you know, multiple years of daytime study. So but that gives me a lot of flexibility for me uh, studying the evening works um, because then I can, if time allows, do my studying, you know, do some studying during the daytime and also apply, apply myself to other projects that I'm involved with during the day. But the, the night study works for me perfectly. I was cognizant of the fact that, you know, the, the world had changed very much from when I went into financial markets to what it is today. So, you know, given that so much of what I did as a career is very much computer driven now, um, and, you know, you need a significantly, you know, significantly more mathematical training than you would have 20 years ago. Um, you know, for me, that was one part, you know, one motivation for, you know, for, for doing the course was to, you know, basically, um, you know, uh, reskill in a way. I work in sales and um, you can put a lot of effort into selling things and talking to your customers and providing them with the information they need. Um, but ultimately, if your price isn't any good, they might choose to buy it from somewhere else. Whereas in the maths lectures, you know, if you put in the effort and you do the reading and you do the homework and then you work on a problem and you get the answer, you know, that's really rewarding because um, your efforts directly contribute to your success in a way that often I think they don't with jobs and work. Birkbeck were very quick it appears to make the decision to, you know, do the entire first term with a, with a view to the second term as well being online. Um, and they'd obviously made a lot of, uh, done a lot of preparatory work over the summer, um, you know, so that we could hit the ground running. There, there weren't teething problems with the content. Um, the mix, there's an, there seems to be a very good understanding as well that there is a difference at the end of the day between time spent in a lecture theatre and time spent, um, you know, online. So there's been a very good division of content into videos, readings, and live lectures, and that's worked really well. I think it 
it's enabled people to, you know, maintain their enthusiasm um, because of the innovation around the content. Um, and there's been quite a lot of interaction, uh, interactive uh, content as well. You know, so I, th I think that I've actually been surprised on the statistics modules with the success they've had with the provision of online content.